everyone, it's me. I'm back again today with a brand new topic. I bet that most of you been through this state of mind at least once. Guess what? That is procrastination. I want to talk about procrastination because I don't know why, but recently I just bumped into this word so often, and I know that procrastination is a common problem among young people. Sometimes I myself frustrated with my procrastination. It destroys my day, reduces my productivity, and got me so. So I was trying to find solution to smash this, smash procrastination, and I share with you today all the information about procrastination. I also want you to know that, by the way, procrastination is not shameful. Everyone procrastinate. If you procrastinate, it doesn't mean that you are weak. But in some cases, if you want to release from stress and depression. You have to go over your procrastination. And by the way, if you want to know more about how to deal with anxiety and depression, just click on the tag above for my previous video. And yes, that is the main idea of the video today: procrastination and all about procrastination. Procrastination is the state of mind when you delay, postpone, put off tasks, only deal with it when it is unavoidable. Procrastination can also be understood as choosing to do easier, more enjoyable tasks rather than unpleasant but more important tasks to avoid negative feelings it brings to you. It is different from laziness. Laziness is having no intention to do something, but bear this in mind. Procrastination is more related to postponing. You will do it, but just not now or not. Kick off the challenging, difficult task at the moment. Here are some typical examples of procrastination. If you fill your day with low priority tasks, you have to finish a project, but you not stop now. Instead, you choose to do other things such as cooking, cleaning, going shopping for your mom, and make up your excuses for not doing your project right now. You are so busy to start. It's not the right time, right mood. You are not in the right condition to do those kind of tasks. Leave an item in your to-do list for a long time and abandon it. Delay writing five thousand words essay or preparing for a super important interview. Mm. Postpone asking your managers for days off. And say to yourself that okay, tomorrow I will ask him. Tomorrow is more likely to be the right time. But when it comes to tomorrow morning, actually, you say okay, this afternoon I will ask him. Just save it to this afternoon. This genetic sounds unbelievable, right? But that's true. Procrastination may be due to our gene. Some people are born with. Low level of dopamine, a brain chemistry that is produced by pleasure experience, and scientists say that if you have low level of dopamine in your body, you are less likely to feel motivated to get things done. But you don't control it. You don't know why because it is in your body already, and tasks are not urgent. This is the Typical reason for procrastination, we because we often see what are in front of us. If there is no rush, no urgent, why have to start early? Fear of failure. There is a common thought that we might blow out the project, the interview, or the work. We. Cannot meet the standard people set for us. We are not confident in our ability to handle that task effectively, so we delay to avoid the negative feelings. Poor organization. We feel overwhelmed, confused, and disorganized. We don't know where to start. Everything is just too much for us right now, and this reason is. 
Same with last reason, more related to the negative feeling that experience bring to us rather than just basically the task avoidant. We prefer to save it to last minute. I know that a lot of people work more efficiently with the close deadline. They prefer the adrenaline rush from the close deadline to finish the project. And this reason is opposite from the third reason. These people are very confident in their abilities, their skills, their tactics to deal with the project, the task in a short period of time. For example, you can write 5,000 words essay in five days, but still receive the high marks. So for the next assignment, you also think that, okay, anyway, I still have plenty of time and I, I will get satisfactory result anyway. So I don't have to start early. I have many other things to do you just don't want to do it you know the feeling of like it's friday 3 p.m two hours left from office and you suddenly receive an email asking for the submission of tax report and you have to start right now i know that feeling is extremely shitty and no one wants to do it here are some solution for your procrastination. It is customized to your case. First, look at a bigger picture. Look at your daily tasks in a broader perspective. For example, if you're not kicking off your project today, what would happen tomorrow in the future? If you're not working out today, what would you look like next month, next three months? So by thinking so, you will have more motivation to start doing something right now break your work into smaller steps this is for somebody who have poor organizing skill like me and I've searched and scientists advise that uh, we should break the project the task into smaller phases so it will be more manageable for us and set deadlines for each phases however we should notice that the deadline should be robust and make it feel that uh, if we are not going to do it today it will jeopardize us tomorrow reform your thought about self-identity mm, i was advised that somebody's value are not determined merely by achievement. It is influenced by so many other factors such as passion, friends, family, your morals, your knowledge. And I don't say this to demotivate you from your goal, but I just want you to know that just do it. Just start something. We can make mistakes. Value is this normal and is not going to harm our self identity in this life. Use your energy wisely. Save the most challenging and difficult tasks for the time of the day when you are most energetic and productive. At that time, your brain works its best. Does your workspace make you want to sleep or snorkel? If yes, switch to another one, please. You can change to coffee shops or library. If possible, you can invite your friends to join you in order not to fall behind from them. You have to make effort and imitate their focus attitude. But remember, you guys should not get deep into gossip or spend most of your time chatting, talking, otherwise it will cause adversely effect. Create a to-do list of items needed to be done and tick whenever each task is done and remember do it immediately is now or never. Make a pour of coffee or tea. This tip is for those who often wait until last minute to do tasks. Take a sip of your favorite coffee or tea before working keeps you awake all the time.
And that's all about procrastination. I hope that the information delivered today is useful for you. If you find it helpful or want to ask some more ideas, just leave me the comment below. Once again, I'm very thankful to have your support. Thank you all for watching my video. I hope to see you guys in my next clips. And now, goodbye. Send you my love.